Hey, this is Greg Hendricks, and welcome to Mail Tip number four. In this Mail Tip, I'll be showing you how to create a script that will take the selected attributes in the graph editor and select those same attributes for every object you have selected. So let me show you what this script does. I'll grab these three objects I have in my scene here, hit S to give them all keyframes, go to Window, Animation Editors, Graph Editor, and for example, if I select Translate X and Rotate Y on this object and run the script, it will select Translate X and Rotate Y for every object. Or I can grab visibility on this one, translate Z on that one, scale X on that one, run the script, and it'll select visibility, translate Z, and scale X for every object I have selected. All right, so let's talk about the script editor, clear out the history, and let me show you how the script works. First thing we do is get a list of these selected objects. In this case, it's torus, cylinder, and cone. And this line will give us a list of these selected attributes within the graph editor. And how this works is we use the selection connection command, we query the object flag, and we give it the name graph editor one from outliner. And where this name comes from is this is the name that Maya gives the outliner within the graph editor. So once we have listed listed the uh, selected attributes, we're going to loop through each attribute, and we're going to separate the object name from the attribute name using the tokenize command. And how this works is in this case we're using we're dealing with a string called ptorus1.rotateX. First you create a string array that will store the results of the tokenize command. And then we run the tokenize command. And first you give it the string you want to work on. You give it the character to look for. And you give it the buffer you want to store the results in. So once we do that, we're going to have this. So now ptorus1 is now in buffer index 0. And rotate x is in buffer index 1. So all it did was search for the period and separate what came before the period and what came after the period. And then we store that in its own string variable just for readability purposes. So back over here, that's what's going on right here. And so once we separate the attribute name from the object name, we're going to loop through each of the selected objects, which is what we got right here. And we're going to check if that attribute exists on this object. So we do that by using the attribute exist command. We give it the attribute to look for, and we give it the object we want to look, we want to query. So in this case, we're asking it, does the attribute rotate x exist on p torus 1, p cylinder 1, or p cone 1? And if it does, then we're going to use the selection connection command again. We're going to use the edit flag with the select flag, and we're going to take the object name and tack on the attribute name again. So we're left with the, uh, so now we have this again, the object dot attribute name. And then we give it the graph editor one for outliner name again. And that will tell Maya that we're dealing with outliner within the graph editor. So once we do all that, we'll have a script that will select all the like, all the same attributes within the graph editor. So hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.